even in a win there is a lingering feeling that Watson is being asked to do too much to drag Houston to relevance. Watson took that concept quite literally on a key play in the second quarter in which he ran for a four-yard touchdown with a linebacker and a defensive back both clinging to him for dear life. I was just trying to make something happen, Watson said. It just gave the offense energy and the whole team energy when they saw that and it continued through the rest of the game. Prior to Sunday's Patriots-Texans contest, Bill Belichick referred to Deshaun Watson as a complete quarterback, and it didn't take long for Watson to prove it once the game started. Watson picked apart the New England defense early and often, throwing for 241 yards and accounting for three touchdowns, two passing and one rushing, before halftime as the Texans jumped in front and held on for a 27-20 win over the Patriots, who failed in their bid to get back to the .500 mark, dropping to 4-6 on the season. Watson finished the game with 344 yards, his fifth 300-plus yard effort of the season. As if the loss wasn't bad enough and it's devastating for New England's already slim playoff hopes they also saw Rex Burkhead carted off the field with a serious injury early in the third quarter. Deshaun Watson has a knack for making memorable plays. Or, big boy, plays, as tight end Jordan Aikens would say. In Sunday's 27-20 triumph over the Patriots at NRG Stadium, Watson bowled his way into the end zone for a punishing touchdown run. In the 27-20 triumph at NRG Stadium, the Texans quarterback completed 28 of 37 passes for 344 yards, with a pair of touchdowns and zero interceptions. Watson found three different receivers for 80 yards or more on the day, and in all, he spread the ball around to nine different pass catchers. The pro bowler also ran six times for 36 yards, and one of his carries was a touchdown. It gave the Texans a lead they wouldn't relinquish, and it ignited the home crowd and his teammates. With the Texans trailing 10-7 in the second quarter, facing a first and goal at the Patriots' four-yard line, Watson went up the middle and bowled his way into the end zone. It capped an eight-play, 75-yard drive that lasted 438. Kaimi Fairburn's extra point try put Houston up, 14-10 with 3.54 remaining before the half. It was a hell of a play, defensive end J.J. Watt said. Not many quarterbacks are going to put their shoulder down and try to run over somebody. It's always a big play for your team when your quarterback does that and shows what he's all about. Akins, who caught five passes for a career-best 83 yards, pointed out how deceptively strong his quarterback is. That was a big boy play, Akins said. That's something I try to do. It was amazing, man. He's stronger than what he looks, I'll tell you that. Watson was nonchalant about the run when he described it in the post-game press conference, saying he was just trying to make something happen. It had a big effect on the scoreboard, and an even bigger effect on his teammates. I just kind of took both of those guys into the end zone. It just gave the offense energy, and the whole team energy, Watson said. They saw that and it kind of continued through the rest of the game. Receiver Brandon Cooks, who caught four passes for a Texans best 85 yards in the win, also acknowledged how energizing the Watson touchdown run was. He's built different, Cooks said. To be able to do that as a quarterback, to give that energy to your offense the way that he did, and the energy to the team, that's what you expect from a guy like him. Watson was happy with the victory, but said he and the Texans will relish it very briefly. Preparations begin Monday for their Thanksgiving Day contest at Detroit this Thursday. There can be no more detours for the New England Patriots if they hope to remain on a path to the playoffs. The 11-time defending AFC East champions fell to 4-6 with a 27-20 loss to the Houston Texans on Sunday, leaving them on the verge of missing the postseason for the first time since 2008. That was the last time they played without Tom Brady at quarterback. We've got to find a way to turn it around, running back James White said after New England, which started out 2-5, snapped a two-game winning streak that, temporarily, at least, revived their playoff hopes. Winners of six Super Bowls and nine AFC titles since 2001, the Patriots are trying to keep their dynasty alive now that Brady has decamped to Tampa Bay. It would be just the third time in coach Bill Belichick's 20 seasons in New England that they have missed the playoffs. If the Patriots are going to make one last run, they'll have to do it without running back Rex Burkhead, who was carted off the field in the third quarter after a knee-to-helmet collision with Texans 3-7 cornerback Bradley Roby. 
the rest of the Patriots kneeled down while Burkhead remained down on the field, in obvious pain. After stopping by the blue sideline medical tent, he left the field and did not return to the game. Belichick confirmed it was a knee injury and said he would have to wait for confirmation from the medical staff. Whenever somebody's not moving too much, it's kind of scary, White said. Hopefully he'll come back better than ever. He's been making huge plays for us, offense special teams, ever since he's been here. It's tough to see. Burkhead, who scored the game-winning touchdown in the 2019 AFC Championship game against Kansas City, is a versatile back having one of the best years of his career, with a combined 466 yards and six touchdowns rushing and receiving. Tackle Isaiah Wynn also left Sunday's game after a couple of players landed on the back of his leg late in the game. The pandemic already cost New England a league-high eight opt-outs, including tackle Marcus Cannon, linebacker Donta Hightower and safety Patrick Chung, and injuries have knocked out key contributors such as Julian Edelman. But the biggest loss was Brady, who has the Buccaneers at 7-3 heading into Monday night's game against the Los Angeles Rams. Cam Newton threw for 365 yards and a touchdown on Sunday, but on the Patriots' last real chance he flipped the ball away to avoid a sack on a fourth and four from the Houston 25 with 78 seconds to play. I tried to make the most of it, but at the same time that's a good defense, Newton said. That team is not an indication of what their record says. With six games to go, the Patriots have already lost as many games as they have in any entire season since 2002, matching their 2005 and 09 total. Coming up next, the Arizona Cardinals, followed by the Chargers and Rams. And then three straight AFC East opponents to finish the season. It's disappointing, but we'll turn the page here and move on, Belichick said. I still have a lot of confidence and belief in the team. If we just do things a little bit better, then the results will be different and better. But, I don't know, we just couldn't do it today.